Did Captain Jean-Luc Picard ever worry about space radiation or incoming Borg energy weapons? No, he just shouts shields up and have a cup of Earl Grey. Hot. Hello, I'm Ian O'Neill, space producer for Discovery News, and I'm here once again for DNews to talk a little bit about a rather cool project that could save our future space explorers from a rather nasty death. Earlier this month, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, issued a statement that one of the powerful technologies being developed for use at the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, may have an application in space. But to appreciate the spin-off and its application, we first need to understand the problem. Space is hard. Beyond the Earth's atmosphere, astronauts and sensitive electronics are exposed to some rather extreme environments. The Sun is constantly pumping out energetic particles in the form of radioactive ions and highly charged cosmic rays, which blast through the solar system from deep space. If the terms radioactive and highly charged don't sound too healthy, it's because they're not. The planet is cocooned in a cozy, thick atmosphere, and surrounding that is a planetary magnetic field called the magnetosphere. Charged particles from the Sun and elsewhere are strongly influenced by magnetic fields, so these harmful ions are deflected by the magnetosphere, and any that do make it through are absorbed by a thick atmosphere. But in space, without the protection of these natural barriers, this radiation can cause all kinds of biological damage to astronauts. But even greater harm will come to future astronauts who plan visiting distant asteroids and landing on Mars. Long-term exposure to space radiation can cause all kinds of cancers, and in some cases, radiation poisoning can be a terrifying possibility. Apart from encasing our astronauts in lead space, suits, which wouldn't be very practical, what can we do about it? Are we stuck on this planet forever, fearing the demon of space radiation? Hopefully not. Taking a cue from our planet's natural defenses, a technology at the awesome LHC could be used to create a very Star Trek-like shield to protect future astronauts from space radiation. During research into efficient power transfer lines, the High Luminosity LHC project announced in 2014 that they had transmitted a world record electrical current along cables fabricated from the magnesium diboride superconductor. Although this material has been used for decades, its superconducting properties were only discovered in 2001. And what makes this material exciting is it remains in a superconducting state at relatively high temperatures. Now scientists involved in the project have teamed up with the European Space Radiation Superconducting Shield project to investigate the possibility of building a coil made from this material to try and generate a powerful magnetic field surrounding a spaceship. Although this coil still needs to be cooled to maintain its superconductivity, the use of this material requires less energy than any other superconductor we know about. There's certainly a long way to go, but the project sounds feasible, and it would certainly be nice to turn off the space radiation threat with a flick of a switch. Do you think the radiation threat will limit our exploration of space, or do you think novel technology like this may be able to save the day? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you want to know how long astronauts can survive on the space station without supplies, watch Trace's video. Water is reclaimed from washing, humidity, condensation, urination, and so on. Anywhere that they can capture water, it's pretty much done. They then purify it to super high standards before recycling it for showers, drinking water, and oxygen generation. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more D News every day of the week. Thank you.